In this video, we are going to talk about hormonal regulation of oogenesis. Hypothalamus in the brain, the pituitary gland just below the hypothalamus and the ovary of female reproductive system plays an important role in hormonal regulation of oogenesis. From hypothalamus, a hormone GnRH that is gonadotropin releasing hormone is released and it stimulates the anterior pituitary to release two hormones one fsh that is follicle stimulating hormone and the other is lh that is luteinizing hormone these two hormones have different effects on regulation of oogenesis fsh stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles in the ovary from oogonium to further oocytes and primordial follicle to more developed growing follicles and the ultimately the graphian follicle is developed by the effect of fsh hormone now with the development of follicles it releases a certain amount of estrogen more developed follicle releases more estrogen when estrogen level gets high it has a negative impact on fsh release high level of estrogen prevent fsh synthesis and high level of estrogen have an positive effect on lh secretion high level of estrogen increase lh which stimulates the ovulation of the graphian follicle graphian follicle ruptures and the oocyte is released after ovulation the follicular cells forms a corpus luteum without the oocyte the corpus luteum releases three hormones small amount of estrogen inhibin and progesterone inhibin has its negative feedback on fsh release inhibin inhibits fsh release from pituitary gland that is anterior pituitary progesterone ha has its negative feedback on hypothalamus progesterone suppresses gnrh secretion from hypothalamus as a result stimulation for fsh and lh release is stopped and FSH and LH level goes down. Progesterone have its role in formation of endometrium growth of uterine wall as well. Corpus luteum degrades and forms corpus albicans and progesterone and inhibin drops.